Chairman, this is a conditional use request by Chad Bailey for a personal uh, care home and the family size uh, for property that consists of 0.14 acres or 6,000 square foot lot. Uh, it is located. hybrid set of technology. Excuse here. me just a moment. Yeah, um, it, we see we'll call you up yeah. when we're ready for discussion. Thank you. And then there's also another PowerPoint on here. Okay. Right now, All right. Stay with us, please. The property is located at 4019 Forest Front Circle. As you see on the map on your screen, which is also in your packet, this is part of the neighborhood that is owned RP, which is sort of unusual for a single family neighborhood. Uh, but think of this as the R6 neighborhood with a lot of 60 by 100 or 6,000 square feet, um, which is the most dense form of single family development that the city has. Um, the applicant is proposing um, a personal care home for children. Um, the state has what's called a child caring institution program, uh, which you may remember from a couple of years ago. We had a request on Hollywood Street. And at that time, it was known that such programs required a minimum of six children. The applicants are requesting six. However, a recent discussion with the applicant who has had a recent discussion with the state, apparently the CCI program um, is allowable for smaller size facilities that doesn't have to be six. And that they will elaborate on this, I'm sure, but they, their facility has been inspected, and I believe they have been approved for a maximum of five. Um, but nonetheless, it's a request for personal care home in the single family neighborhood that's in RP. Suburban area is the character area designation on the future development map. Um, and this is very similar to that CCI request that we had a couple of years ago, with the exception of the subject properties. This particular lot is much smaller, the house is smaller, um, fewer number of bedrooms. In your packet, you see the aerial map, you see the, the rooftops, the houses are fairly close together. Um, it's typical with an R6 type neighborhood. Um, next picture. Shows a floor plan sketch that's in your packet. You notice it is three bedrooms. They're showing two occupants per bedroom. There is no designated bedroom on there for staff at night, although I understand they will use living room number two as sort of their base of operations. Um, the applicants can expand on that a little bit more. Um, next slide is some pictures. This is the subject property as seen from the road. You see the French doors to the left, that is a former one-car garage that was enclosed a while back. That is living room number two, it's the size of the one-car garage. And then you have the regular house kind of behind it. Um, next photograph, this is a view of more of the side of the house. You see how close it is to the building next door. The aerial shows the fenced in the yard. Um, it's a very similar pattern all through the neighborhood. Um, next photo. This is the view looking down the street in front of the subject property. And we'll move through these a little bit faster. Um, some of the other adjacent properties, houses across the street and nearby. And then like we talked about at the work session, one of the concerns of staff is parking. Um, the driveway is small. It's with the vehicles are small. You can probably fit two of them there side by side, but it's leading to a one-car garage. The sidewalk in this neighborhood is on the interior side of the loop road. It is right against the curve of the pavement. And unfortunately, with that kind of design, a lot of folks use the sidewalk as an expansion of the pavement for on street parking. Um, and that is a concern that we're wanting to avoid. Personal care homes, um, if approved, ought to be sort of boxed in with conditions limiting their size. Uh, we cannot place limitations on the type of people who are there. 
the separate sizes of the facility, aspects of the use, which may include parking, um, hours of operation, that kind of thing. Um, one of the concerns is we've had personal care homes of other types in the past that have generated a lot of staff, a lot of parking. Um, as many as 17 cars have been observed by this staff person in the yard of the house. Um, in this neighborhood, that just obviously would not work. Um, anything more than one or two, I don't think, would work because we would have on-street parking, which I think is a problem. Um, so with that, staff is recommending approval of it, but with the limitation that this not exceed four persons rather than requesting six. Um, four conditions total for first one person limiting in size. Number two, there should be no more than two on-site staff persons at any one time, and no more than two vehicles should be parked on the subject property at one time. All parking shall be within the existing driveway of the subject property, and shall be no on-street parking. Number three, the property shall maintain its single-family residential character, have no outdoor signage, and shall be kept clean and mowed at all times. And lastly, number four is the expiration date of two years. Initially, this approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if no license has been submitted by that time. And these are similar conditions to other similar types of personal care items. But any, answer any further questions you might have. I know we talked about this at length before. So. so now I have one question. Um, your recommendation was for four children. They were asking for five, and you said they've been approved. They, no, they were, were asking, asking for six. six. And they they been said, approved for five. Correct. I had a conversation with that, I believe, last Friday. Okay. Um, and the state has looked at them closely. I mean, when we first met with the applicant, they had not been involved with the state officials yet. Okay. Um, and based on the size of the facility, which I believe really equates to the size of the rooms, mm -hmm. um, they're approved for up to five. But the applicants are here, they can go into a lot more details. Mm -hmm. um, the city does not get into quite as many details about personal care home as the state of Georgia does. Okay. Do we have any questions from commissioners for staff? Commissioner Paul? Yes, Mr. Martin, are you going to change your uh, recommendation from four to five, or are you going to leave it at four? Uh, negative. Sir? Recommendation is still for four. Okay, very well. What about you? Six, you're going to change it? No. Six, you're going to do that We have a personal care home in town that has three clients living there who have a lot of needs, require a lot of staff. The organization that was operating the facility also used it as a meeting place. And there, on more than one occasion, we had 16 or 17 cars. Um, the driveway holds six. Everyone else parked in the yard or on the street. Um, it, it, it failed to maintain its residential care. Perfect. All right, are there any other questions for staff? Commissioner Paul? Commissioner Martin? Yes, if not, is there anyone in the audience tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request? If so, please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak for the request being presented, come forward. Please state your name and address for the record, please. Diane Bailey. Okay. Chad Bailey. To the Orange Point, the House of Georgia, 31605. All righty. Go ahead. Point for a circle. It's a family, friendly neighborhood. It's a lovely area. Um, right in the cul-de-sac. It's children of all ages in this neighborhood. Lived there over six years. Um, you know, any issues with the neighbors, you know, kind of accident, traffic, no traffic in the neighborhood as well. Um, and both other owners, baby Blossom, <coughs> it's going to be a small family home, quiet home members. It's um, going to be a safe structure, caring home for our home members. Our goal is to encourage each client to reach their high potential and support them in their daily needs, personal, social, and emotional, as well as educational needs, consistently. Right. Yes, sir, we're trying to get the laptop to keep up with us here. <laughs> what we're seeing on this screen is not what we're seeing on the big screen. Oh. State guideline. Uh, 
for the personnel that we're asking for. Uh, also, uh, the addition of the uh, second living room and the uh, addition of the uh, half bathroom uh, makes our facility stay compliant as far as the uh, size and layout of the facility. Um, so, uh, and the second living room will be used as the uh, uh, staff slash recreation room for all the uh, businesses, for all the business that's conducted as far as you know, paperwork and uh, monitoring of, of kids, uh, monitoring of the uh, residents. Um, and also uh, <coughs> for the home itself, we will have a security system to alert us for people who come in and out. So we need our kids to be getting away from their uh, Come to run away, run away, so uh, you want to make sure everything is uh, sound as far as uh, how it 